Hey guys, welcome to Zoom Saturdays with Christina Opari. Today we will be discussing, do you really see something if you don't have a name for it? I learned already that names don't constitute knowledge, but the knowing the name of something. That's caused me a certain trouble since, because I refuse to learn the name of anything. So when someone comes in and says, uh, you got any explanation for the Fitzcronin experiment? I says, what, what, what's that? He says, you know, that the long lived K meson disintegrates into two pies. Oh, oh yes, no, I know. But I never know the names of things. What he forgot to tell me was that the knowing the names of things is useful if you want to talk to somebody else. <laughs> well, you have to learn, these are kind of disciplines in the field of science that you have to learn that to know when you know and when you don't know and what it is you know and what it is you don't know. And it's, uh, you gotta be very careful not to confuse yourself. He grew up thinking that way. And though he was thinking that way, he really, there was a part of him that had to realize, like, I'm not that. Like, though she named me that, I'm not that. So I could see that um, in reverse when it comes to a bird. Like, looking at a bird, you identify that bird, but do you really know what it's about? Do you know the characteristics of it? Do you know what it eats? Um, do you know when it mates? Do you know the season that it moves around in? Like, knowing and classifying the person versus the name or the character versus the name. Yes, oh my goodness, that is so deep. The character yeah. versus the name, that is deep, yeah. that is deep. And by chance, are you talking about Jabaz when the name when the mother <laughs> named him Payne? Yes, I couldn't get the name in my head, but yes. Ah, the prayer of Jabaz. And actually I was doing that challenge last month. That was so crazy because his name meant pain wow. and he was suffering, like, you know, and all these other things. And he was, um, and then he prayed this big prayer. God, yeah. bless me indeed. Please enlarge my territory. Mm -hmm. Enlarge my territory, yep. Yes. Yep. So it's like, just because your name, your name does not define you. It's what you yes. do. It's what you do, what you open up to, like you describe your characteristics, your seasons, this and that, knowing that just because, and it's like, just like name calling, just because this person told you, like, you know, you have all these things when you're growing up, people calling you this, you're never going to be anything, you can't mm -hmm. do a job, you can't do this, you can't, and it's like, you have all these can'ts, you know, and it's like, people have that defined, like, oh, well, this person say I'm like this, so this is what I am. This person say, oh, I'm, I can do this, so this is what I'm going to do. But what can you really do? You know, who are who are you really? And it's so, so, like, it's so deep because so many people can't even answer that. Like, who are you? Like, you know, people who take going on dates just because of that question. It's like, okay, who am I? What do I do? Like, uh, I don't know. Let me call somebody and find out. <laughs> But you living with this person every single day. But yet you like you living within. This is your shell right here, right? And you don't even know the things you like, the things you you good at. Like, how is that possible? Like, how is that possible? And you've been living in that body. Like people are like, I don't know what my purpose is. I don't know what this is. I don't know. And I think because, and this is just, you know, it just came to me. I really think people don't know what their purpose is. It's because they really just didn't sit with themselves. Mm. You know? People would just be busy, 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 doing everything for everyone else and not making time for themselves, you know? And um, that is the that is the um, main thing because even, um, what's his name? Rick Warren, Pastor Rick Warren, I believe. He he came out with that book, um, What Is My Purpose? The Life. And that book sold millions and trillions and trillions of copies because people just don't know. And come now, in 2021, people still don't know. <laughs> that is a big topic. It's like, what am I good at? Like, let me pull these things out of you. Why do I have to pull it out when it should be so, be so easy and natural? And I'm not even bashing nobody because, listen, sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't know. But it's like, what I find is I don't know because I probably, I'm probably looking at somebody else and seeing the things that they're accomplishing and the things like, oh, okay, I think I want to do that. Okay, you know, you just comparing and contrast. So, um, Don, would you like to share? Yeah, I, I, I definitely agree with, um, with both of y'all. I, I think, too, that a lot of it um, is based off of belief, right? So what you tell yourself, because I know a lot of us are going to like this journey or this new chapter in the life, but there's always that little bit of guilt. So that's when we throw that, um, that analogy in about good angel, bad angel. You have the good angel that's telling you, hey, man, you can do it, you can do it. And then you got that bad angel that's like, just sleep a little bit more. You can get to that task another time, you know? So I think that 
what we tell ourselves is like really, really important. Um, I, I was, I remember I was reading this, uh, it was like this, um, this article and it was about um, this diagnosis or something like that, where people that believe that they're like this certain type of animal, they're able to, um, to absorb those, those animals, um, holistic powers more so, right? So they'll be able to like crawl up a tree or something of that nature. Um, I don't know how true it was because I didn't like further study on it, but I'm just saying like, if your mind is that strong, right? And you're telling yourself the things that you need to tell yourself to push you forward or you're that positive and you're telling yourself and you're your biggest cheerleader, then you can absolutely have anything or be able to grab anything that you want in life. You just have to practice on the little voice that's telling you in your head that, hey, you know what? You can do it. You're the best at it. No matter what, nobody can top you. You know, like be that you even having that competitive mindset is pretty cool, too. But make sure that you're bigging yourself up and you're your biggest cheerleader because that's you changing your mindset. That's you telling yourself, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. And then good things are going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. That, listen, I can. I am. I will. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I yeah, am, I want to. Uh -huh. I am, I will. That's it. Like if you yes. just like okay, no, like shoot down those um negative thoughts. Shoot them down right. Like as soon as something say like, listen, I can do that. I am going to do that, and I will. Like some things we have to just take out of our vocabulary. Like all those trying, all those oh I should or I would. Like no, you have to get those definite words out there. Like if you say that you made up your mind, this is what I'm going to do. Just like when you're in a relationship and you know like oh no, I'm not tolerating this no more. Yes, it happened 10 times, but I know for sure this is it. That's the straw that broke the camel's mm -hmm. back. <laughs> you know, people can yeah. kind of relate to like that. Like listen, no, I know I like I deserve better, so no cut it off <laughs> you know so and that's the thing because sometimes sometimes we um we are our biggest 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 let's say like you know the like, i'm not gonna say downfall but no one else can do anything to us which we don't allow so you know people will be going through all these type of stressors like oh you know because they put in too much power onto the other person yes. well, we already have that power within ourselves and so um I just find like you got it, like most people just need to take back their power, take back those things and stop leaving it and giving it to someone else in their hand. Just like um, I'm going to go back to the church, just like how people pastor or like, you know, if a, a new pastor coming in or a new this, it's like, OK, like I'm lost now, <laughs> you know, just like in jobs with new management. It's like, oh, man, we have a new manager. Oh, no. Like, you know, but why does that even have to, you know, what does that have to do with you? And we always got to remember change is inevitable, right? Change is inevitable. So it's like you just not saying we just go with the flow, but you're not supposed to worry about what's going on outside of you. Like, OK, <laughs> that's happening, but I know who I am, so I'm going to be OK. Um, there's I remember um, I'm on this um, clubhouse and vision coach Kim. She shared, she shared this um, declaration. Let me see if I can pull it up right here. I wanted to ask you, not to, not to cut you off, Christina. There was something I was looking at this morning, um, and it said, don't listen to yourself, yourself, speak to yourself. Like, speak life to yourself. Like, don't listen to yourself. Really speak life to yourself. So I, that was, like, a big takeaway for me this morning. I was like, yeah, I'm running with that today <laughs> oh that is deep thank yeah. you so much don't listen to yourself speak life to yourself yes yep. i like that's that it. that's it that is it <laughs> oh my goodness i gotta just pause on that and let that sink in don't listen to yourself speak life to yourself yes wow yeah. yes. Was so cool. i was like well, I gotta grab that. <laughs> you know, you know, you you know what? It, it it makes sense though because your mind is designed to protect you, right? So yep. when you're going on your journey and you're gonna challenge yourself, it's supposed to say, "Wait a minute, buddy! Like, you know, this is gonna be stressful for you. You should calm down. Like, come back." So that's what it's designed to do. So if you reverse that and you're the one telling yourself, "Like, look, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it." That's when you're gonna see those results. So it makes sense. Yes. Yo, that is deep. I just had to be like, Whoo. and you know what? And people want to think everything is so, um, you know, like you need to 
seek this person, seek that person. And it's like, no, you are the person. You are your own, not saying you're your own savior, but God is living within you. That's why I say prayer is so powerful. Prayer is so powerful. Yes. The word yes. you seek, the things you seek out, like, you know, so, woo, that is deep. Woo, woo, woo. All right. <laughs> you, you know what? You should, you should be excited about your journey. You know, like when you're on your journey, you should be excited. Obviously, the obstacles are going to come. There are going to be some down days, up days. But just enjoy the process and just be excited about it. Because when you're excited about it, you get to see things from different dimensions. When you're stressed out about it, you're only one dimensional. You're just focusing on what's stressing out about you and what's making you unhappy. But definitely just be excited because you have more control than you think. You can control the people that you surround yourself around. You can control the direction of your journey. You might you might start going straight. The next you want to go right. You know, so you have the power to do that and just know that and have faith in that journey. But be excited most of all because that's where the fun is, man. Learning. Learning. Yeah. It's yes. not so much about the destination, it's about that journey. You know? That's right. Because, yeah, okay, yeah, I have all of this stuff, but when you, once you look back at that hard work, everything that you achieve, it's like, wow, I can do this. I did this. Wow. You know? So it's more of a journey, and that is so right. That is so true. That is so true. And that's why you have, you know, <laughs> you, you can have it all, but still be depressed. So... You know, but um, this is what I was going to share by um, Vision Coach Tim. And this is something that I love because it's like when you believe it and it says goodness is always for me, whether I'm on, whether I am on a bus serving me or not. Goodness is always for me, whether I am on a bus serving me or not. So once you like, I know we kind of go into another topic, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um it's like, you got to just know that I'm going to be well taken care of no matter the circumstance. Just like how we was talking two seconds ago about this pandemic, how you said, oh, how is it in, how is it, like, you know? And it's like, really, nothing really changed for me last year. Yes, you know, the government opposed these lockdowns and things, but thank God, nothing's really changed. You know, I know people around me that was affected by it. Um, yes, you know, but honestly, like, life remain not even going to say remain the same because things were close but it's just like I was still doing the same things I always did went to work you know and um yeah but thank god I was protected thank god with all these news all these things talking about we up to the 600,000 mark we up to the 1 million dollar um 1 million and it's like wow you're seeing those things and it's like like it's kind of want to put that panic in you and that's why you just got to turn up the news because the same thing what you surround yourself with are you going to be scared are you going to be afraid like no like you know you just walk into the storm and like you know you walk into that lion's den and knowing that you're going to come out and it's and not saying that um people who were affected by this learn believers but sometimes you got to know like okay if it's if that is that if that does happen there's purpose behind that you get what i'm saying it's like everything happens within this time everything happens within this time yes there are seasons we are all going to experience things in our life you know joy happiness sadness whatever um but it's just within your season just because this person is affected doesn't mean that you're going to be affected so that's what i like to say it's not like um you know you just got to know that you're always covered you always are covered um so when I talk about, like, I want to talk about, do you really see something, right? Going back to it, if you don't have a name for it. So it's like, um, say depression. If you didn't have a name for depression, do you really, will you really feel it? Or, you, you know, I don't know. No. I don't know. Like all these bad words. I would say, I don't say certain words, but all these things is like, if you don't know something, you know, like, and that's why I always approach things as a child, like. I never assume nothing. If you ask me something, I really would, let's say, I don't know, because I just want to know what you know. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, what? Tell me. Tell me more. And then when you approach things that way, you you end up learning something new. Because, and that's one thing. It's like, don't be a know-it-all. Listen. You might come out with something, even an easier, easier way to do something. Yes, you may know something. But do you really know what you know? Do you really know what you don't know? Like, you know, you know, those tricks, rhyme tricks, whatever. <laughs> so, um, 
Yeah. So that's the thing. It's like, what are we focusing on? What are we really focusing on? What are we really, you know, because I know a lot of know-it-alls in my life. Like, no, 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 no. Like, all right, tell me. Hey, I could have I could have shared something with you that made your life so much easier. But since you know it all, hey, whatever. <laughs> no, can't learn. No, no one else can't learn. You yeah. can't always be the smart. First of all, if you if you think you know it all, then why are you hanging out with people that you feel like aren't on your level or are, are, are smart? So that sounds like some confident issues to me. Like you just got to be the big bull in the room at all times. Because my thing is, if I feel like. Like I'm the smartest person like in my in my group. Yeah, I'm still gonna chill with my group, that's my crew, but I kind of want to challenge myself a little bit more and probably hang out with people that I think are a little bit more smarter than me. You know, like Obama, you know, uh Oprah. If y'all watching this, call me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, like like level up. Don't just sit there and down people, you know what I'm saying? Because you think that you're more intelligent or you, you're more competent than somebody. So hanging out with people that you think is more competent than you, so that way you can learn more. But I guess people let their ego drive them. Yeah. And that could be our downfall, that pride. That yeah. pride is the downfall. Like, you know, and um, I'm going to share it today because I, I try to read a uh, passage, even if it's only for five minutes. I try to read the Bible every day. I'm like, God, give me a word, right? And so um, it's just like, hey, continuously give thanks to the Lord. It's like, give thanks to me. <laughs> you know, it's like, praise me. Um, Where did it go? Um. Here it goes, Psalm 103, 2. Let all that I am praise the Lord. May I never, may I never forget the good things he does for me. And that's from Psalm 1, 103, 2. And I'm like, thank you, God. And thank you, thank you, thank you. And then, you know, I go to praise him. Like, you know, like, okay, let me not forget. Because sometimes when everything is going good in our life, and it's like, you forget those moments. Like, uh-uh, come back to me. And sometimes that's when things blow up. Because it's like, oh, okay, you can do it on your own. All right, do it on your own, whatever. You know, I'm going to lift my hand right now. And so that's, that's something that I always, um, you know, like, I'm like, God, if I do forget, I'm like, God, I'm sorry, I'm going right back. <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, I always have that communication. And so um, this is going to be another topic for another time. But I just, it just came to me again. And it's like, I just want to share because some people, right? They can look from afar. They don't like to speak about God. They don't like to speak about this and that. They'd be like, oh, you're too re like religious, this and that, right? And it's not about being too religious because I feel like I don't, like, you know, you, you're you supposed to be that role model for someone else, right? And I don't really like to have that role model title because I don't do everything according to, you yeah. know, and I like some ratchet stuff too, right? So, but it's like, God is always still there. He knows, he knows your weakness. He knows this and everything is a stepping stone. So some people try to rush in, do all of this. Like, okay, you know, it's all, all in progress. No one is perfect in this world, but your relationship, you should always, and I'm not even saying what you should, but I always seek that relationship with God. Like, you know, and that's how I find myself being okay with everything that's going on around me. Like I said, like how you have to say goodness is always for me because I know who was to my left and my right, you know? So, um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with someone. And, you know, it just came to me because, you know, people feel guilty. Like, oh, I'm still, you know, the music I listen to, I like to party, I like to do this, I like to do that. But and does that make me a bad person? Like, oh my goodness. And they just want to run away. Like, forget it. I'm not even, you know? So I just wanted to share that. But yeah, going back, does um, do you want to share anything else, like um, regarding the topic? It's an open discussion. <laughs> uh, I, nah, I, I, I like what you said. Um, you, don't 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 sit there and jump off that topic. I like what you just said. That was really dope because when you're building your relationship with God, right? You're you're you're. It doesn't mean that you're gonna you're gonna cut off from the world. We're obviously living in the world, so there's gonna be worldly things that. Um, that, that is going to happen, right? So like you said, like sometimes you like to the ratchet part or whatever the case may be. I listen to rap music. I love watching, love and hip hop. I'm going to tell you that right now. I love it. That's me. That's what, you know, that I do. But I preach motivation. It's not me being a hypocrite. And I, and I also thrive off of me knowing that I have a real close relationship with God. But that doesn't make me um, a bad person nor a hypocrite. I have to understand this world in order for me to connect with the world. So if I just if I just disconnect completely, right, and I say, hey, you know what, I'm going to live 100% by the Bible, which I do try to live as close as I possibly can um, um, to the, um, the guidance of the Bible, 
But if I live there hundred percent, will I lose contact with being able to connect with people that I'm actually trying to motivate to let them know that they can actually live their dreams. So um, I just want to say it on that way. Now it's a different story, right? When you, when you have a habit of something like that, that actually is um, hurting people around you are, are hurting yourself. That's a different story, but um, that's something that, you know, you, you, you work on um, and try to better yourself, but don't, don't try to better yourself and work on something like that alone. You know, you always want to have that, um, I like to say, try that you can always fall back on. That's going to be a safety net when you are having those um, those those down moments. So I just wanted to share that because that was really deep what you just said, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you, Donald, for sharing that. that yeah, is so yeah, yeah. Cool because, you know, you got so many people judging. You got so many people judging. And I remember just hearing that, oh, um, like, you know, just every little thing. It could be one bad thing that you did or like not even one bad thing, just even your past. Like how people like to bring up your past or, oh, you doing that now? Like, you know, and trying to, I guess you could say throw shade. <laughs> and it's like, you know, you can take that, internalize it, but it's like, all right, you know what? I know who I am. That's all that matters. If you know who you are and that's all, that's all because it's like, this, this is where we go back to people pleasing, people pleasers. And that is the detriment. And that is the reason why you may be going through like feeling, um, not, I, the word defeated just came to me. You may be feeling defeated. Like you may be feeling like, oh, you're not good enough because of what someone else said that takes away all of your powers in you, <laughs> you know? So um, welcome striker, welcome striper. I don't know if you can talk. It looks like you might be at a little event event. <laughs> But yeah, so um, yeah. yeah. I'm just noticed. Yeah, out on the boat right now at a okay. marina. Yeah, and I, I'm just seeing a message because I didn't have my phone on me. So I'm out here. So I'm enjoying myself. So I'm trying to catch up to y'all, but I already know I can't really hear. So I'm trying to hear. Okay. But I'm gonna try to listen in and, and try to turn in every here and there. Okay. Okay. Well, enjoy. We just talking about. Do you really see something if you don't have a name for it? Do you really see something if you don't have a name for it? So we just looked at a video where, um, um, what's his name again? Richard, I see. Look at that. <laughs> Richard Feynman, he was walking his child, whatever, and he said, oh, yeah, that's a bird. But you know how children are. They want to know, okay, that's her name. Okay. And you know how things, people approach things childlike? They ask so many questions, you know, like, oh, why does, why does he fly? What, what does he eat? What does he do this? What did, and it's like, what? Like some questions with children, you know, some kids might actually be like, wow, I never thought about that. Like that way, I really don't know that answer. Let me go to Google. <laughs> Let me go to Google because I really don't know. I just know that's what it is. I don't know anything else about it, you know? So it's like anything you could go deep into something like, you know, just like this pen right here. Like, yes, this is a pen, but what does it do? What color does it write in? Okay. What is this material? Like this right here, you could go so deep into this pen, like dissect it, like pull it apart. What are these materials? Why does it click up and down? And it's like, wow, just like, uh, just like with us, we got to ask ourselves those questions. Like, like me, who is Christina? What does she do? Why is she this color? Why is she this? Why is she this? Why her eyes like <laughs> Like, you know, just going deep. Like, oh, wow. Let me dissect this. Let me pull it apart. But, um, yes. Um, I don't want to make this too long. I want you guys to enjoy your Saturday. But, yeah, I just wanted to leave that with you guys. And just go back to, you know, just want to give you some motivation for your day. And just know that you can, you are, and you will. You know? Once you know those things like nothing is stopping you you're the only one stopping yourself you're the only one causing the breaks in your life okay and i'm like listen i'm this is for me right now because i'm the biggest laziest person ever like i right now like i'd rather be in my bed right now so <laughs> you know so um it's like, listen, no, pump the brakes, go ahead, do what you got to do, you know, don't worry about anything else that's going around you, and um, thank you, Striker, for that, wow, phenomenal, amazing, beautiful woman, thank you for that, woo, woo, yeah, and I was out the other day, right, um, you know, everybody said during this pandemic, everybody looking top shape, everybody was in the gym, their body looking right, and I'm like, dad, 
well, what, what was I doing? Just eating. I put on like, what, 20 pounds or so. And I'm like, tag, and just make you feel that um insecurity. Like, oh, no, nah, I don't want to take no picture. No, my hair's not done. No, I don't want to do this. And it's like, listen, <laughs> listen, take me as I am. This is me right now. And so I'm, and then it just goes back to that gratitude, like being grateful that I can even, you know, I have the use of my hands, the use of my legs, the use of my body. Like, you know, I'm healthy. So when you go and not compare yourself that you don't have a six pack or, you know, the flat stomach that you really want it, <laughs> you got to go back into that gratitude moment. Like, thank you for me even being alive. You get what I'm saying? So, yes. And so do anyone want to leave out anything for today, any type of motivation, any type of, um, you know, going on for today, Saturday, June 26th. It was really follow the conversation. I really liked it a lot. So thank you for allowing me to be on. Yes, yeah, Christine. And do um do you want to share um what you do and who you are? <laughs> um, my name is Christine. Um, I just graduated from NCNY, my oh. master's um, in early childhood and special ed. So I'm super excited about that. I'm a single mom. Um, one, he's an awesome, amazing boy. I so grateful for him. I'm grateful for God giving me him. Uh, he, I was telling him he's like, why beyond his ears? Because he says stuff that's like really pathetic sometimes. And I'm like, gotta take it in. And I know he's only 10, but it's like, I'm like, no, I cherish those. Things. So I'm definitely, you know, just building and I'm, I'm happy for the positivity that you guys are giving me. And I'm continually feeding myself positivity. It's really important now. In the times that we're living in, and even in, you know, just to get ourselves mentally, spiritually, physically more stronger. Um, and I'm really big on like the whole self um, and developing that whole self. Um, like even what you eat, what you put in, what you what you listen to, what you looking at. Like those five senses is really important, and people tend to neglect that and just overlook it. But it it means a lot. Like and you know, no judgment to you guys for the music y'all listen to. I ain't got. Nothing to say because I'll be listening to it too. I'll be like, yeah, let me get my little <laughs> dance in. You know, but you know, like you were saying, Donald, like connecting to the world. And my pastor, he always says something really phenomenal. He's like, you know, you can't be worldly good and no spiritual. And you can't be spiritually good and no worldly. So being able to connect those dots so that people can really see like your light is still on, even though you're here on this earth, like your light is still shining. Like you're still bright. Like, so I'm just, I'm just honestly just grateful for life. Like I could have been gone a long time ago and it's all God. It's all his grace, all his mercy. Like I can't take it for granted. Um, and I'm just thankful to be around powerful people like you guys and powerful people that I have already in my circle. So it's just amazing. Like, Yes. Wow. That is amazing. Congratulations on your master's. Yes. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, early childhood and development. Yes. Yes. They need you, definitely. Like, you yes. know, and that's where it is. The age seven, like age seven is so powerful for kids because that's when they really discover who they are and any type of name calling, any type of any type of trauma, like yeah. that stuff is gonna stick with them as and yes. in, into adults because they're gonna remember. Mm -hmm. you know? A lot of yes. people don't remember when they was two, three. But going back to five, six, seven, those those mm -hmm. are the building moments that you remember, like, oh shoot. And this is who you discovering who you are and the things that you're capable of. And mm -hmm. um, you know, if people ain't giving you that motivation, that positivity, and you all you mm -hmm. see is that negative, negative, that's what you're gonna keep, you know? So people need like thank you for even going into that direction because you know, children are our future. So yeah. that is deep, that is deep. So Thank you for joining. Yeah, she's the first time we're here. Yay. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, thank you, thank you, thank you guys for joining Zoom Saturdays. And we're going to do this again next week. Um, next week, Saturday at 11 a.m. And um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and talk soon. Talk soon. Um, thank you. Just stop recording. Hey, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. And... Click that link in my bio so you can stay connected and join our next session.